Okay, so we're going to go over um, graphs of trig functions. And I guess to set up the graphing of the trig functions, we're going to look at this graph. And we'll look at our first three, so we can relate them to radians. And um, sometimes it helps to actually relate these two degrees. Do you know what the degrees of a lot of these are offhand? Uh, 30 degrees. Okay. Uh, 45 yep. degrees. 60 degrees and 90 degrees. Yeah. We don't really need to go farther than that because we, we've worked on it before. That once we're past 90, we kind of just use variations of these degrees for it. Okay? And now, technically, a lot of these waves take up to um, 360 degrees of repeat, but we can kind of see the negative pattern as long as we know the cast system to where they're going to end up. Right? And actually, hey, zero is actually supposed to be included, so let's put these on top. Okay, so um, do you know what sine zero is offhand? Zero. A sine zero offhand is zero, yes. Do you know what cos zero is offhand? One. And what would our tangent zero be? Zero. Uh, actually, I think our tangent zero is an undefined amount. And let's just double check with our calculator. I could be off. Oh, actually, you're right. You're, sorry, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, the negative that's it good excellent um, so because this is technically a reciprocal of sine our cosecant mm -hmm. think of whatever these value are we're just gonna find the reciprocal of them okay right. so the reciprocal of this becomes confusing uh, first off what would the reciprocal of zero be undefined Undefined, that's right. Because technically we can think of this as 0 over 1, right? This can be 1 over 1, and this can be 0 over 1. <coughs> this would give us 1 over 0, <coughs> excuse me, which is an undefined value. Okay. What about for secant? 1. Yeah, we're still left with 1. Reciprocal is still the value of 1. And cotangent? Undefined. Yeah, we're undefined again. Very good. So we can easily start figuring out these patterns from here. Now, 30 degrees. Do we know what sine 30 degrees is off top? Or I should say pi over 6. Um. So what we can use is we'll use some of our special triangles to help us remember some of these values. Okay? Because we could type it into a calculator, and that's not that looks a little better. All right, there's an extension there. Let's create our two special triangles and see how they can help us. Um, this one here, do you know one of them offhand? What would this one maybe represent? Uh, would that be... We, we'll, we'll call which one. It doesn't have to be a scale. So maybe we'll put this... Um, if this is 60 degrees, what's our radians here? Pi over 3. Yeah, pi over 3. Good. Which makes the other one... Pi over 6. Great. Okay. And what are the values of this? What are the lengths? Um, opposite of pi over 6 is 1. Mm -hmm. Opposite of pi to pi over 3 is root 3. Yep. And the hypotenuse is 2. Excellent. Good. And our other one is what? 45 degrees yeah. or pi over 2. Pi over 4. Yeah, pi over 4. Good. I don't know why I did the other one in green, but uh, what are the measurements? One, one, and over two. Yeah. Now, sometimes they use different types of measurements for this, um, and they use a similar... Oh, sorry, yeah, root two. Uh, and sometimes they'll use a, a similar type of triangle for these questions for setting up, but the values end up being the same, so this is fine to work with. So, if we're set up with our special triangle here, and we're looking for our first example of sine... So we're looking for the sine of this. Sine is, and we're going to be looking at uh, pi over 6. Mm -hmm. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So what does that give us a value of? Uh, one half. One half. Great. So we have one half. Uh, same angle. Let's do cos. Cos of that angle would be what? Root 3 over 2. Exactly. So we have our adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have root 3 over 2. And then finally, our tangent of this would be what? 1 over root 3. Yes. 1 over Three. The reciprocal is easy to figure out. We just take the original values and flip them. So what would cosecant of pi over 6 be? 2. Mm -hmm. Secant? 2 over 3. Yeah. And cotangent? Root 3. Perfect. All right. So we can kind of keep this pattern. As long as we can figure out the first three for all of them, the following three became simple to look at. And we'll talk about what they look like in a graph. So let's uh, jump to our next one. What is our next one of sine? 
1 over root 2. Yeah, 1 over root 2. Same thing, 1 over yeah. root 2. And tangent? Uh, 1. Great, which leads us to what, what values? Root 2. Yep. Gotcha. And root 2. And 1. Excellent, good. Uh, pi over um, 3. What are our values? Sine is um, root 3 over 2. Yep. Yeah. Sine is 1 over 2. Mm -hmm. And it's root 3. Good. And I want to just draw a similarity here. If you notice, that these two are reciprocals of each other. And this, these two values are the same, and these two values are the same once we move those angles. So still referring in the same triangle here. Okay. And then what would be our cosecant, secant, and cotangent? 2 over root 3. Yep. 2. Mm -hmm. And 1 over root 3. Over root three. Good. And same type of relationship as we had before, these mm -hmm. two being the same, these two being the same, and these being reciprocal of each other. We're in the same triangle. Okay. Pi over 2. Uh, sine is 1. Okay. And now which triangle did you use to solve that? Uh, I just used a like unit circle concept. Oh, good. Okay. Very good. Okay. So our... Uh, 90 degrees is 1. one. And cos is 0. Mm -hmm. Tan is um, undefined. Undefined. Good. What about cosecant? Um, 1. Yep. Undefined. Undefined. Um, 0. This is 0? Yeah. Okay. Let's double check because it's hard when we're undefined to really tell where it is. It's most mm -hmm. likely zero because that was the relationship we had before, right? When we had our zeros, they ended up being undefined. And I think I have a calculator that can give us a type of verification of this. No. Let's see. Oh, I lied. My calculator can't do that. I apologize. But you're okay. You're right. Good. So these values can kind of help us go through uh, when graphing this. Now this information, let's see if I can get a dual page here. This information can be hard to graph. We kind of have to estimate their, um, their values when going through it. So we'll quickly try to estimate it. And we're just doing for the first um, from 0 to 90 degrees. So at 0, if we're doing sine, I guess we'll start sine in blue. We have uh, a spot at 0. Okay. At 30 degrees. Now what does this represent tactically? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So at 30 degrees or pi over 6 would be somewhere in here. A little closer to the line is a half. Right? Mm -hmm. At 45 degrees, we're at 1 over root 2. Uh, mm -hmm. As a value that is a little greater than a half. Right? Mm -hmm. um, pi over root 3 is root 3 over 1, which is getting close, closer to 1. And our 90 is essentially our value of 0. And we know for a fact that our sine makes this type of curve here. Okay, So this is our value for sine in this case. And we've only done the first 90 degrees. Um, cosine is kind of a different idea. We start at the value of 1. Okay, We then go to root 3 over 2, which is the second last value I put there at uh, 30 degrees. We'll say 30 is roughly here. At pi over 4, we're at a half again, so crossing at the exact same point. Um, at 60 degrees, we're at, where are we? I've lost track here. Uh, half, so 60 degrees, which would be around here, is a half. And then finally, pi over 2. We have 90. Okay. This doesn't give us a lot of information, especially for sine and cos. So we'd really be nice if we can go a lot farther than this, right? Mm -hmm. And we could plot these, and we'd have to continue this. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump into what our reciprocals would look like. Um, what they would look like if we were to actually plot them out the normal way. So let's go into sine x, right? And this is a, pretty much how we started drawing it. We only got up to this point here, and we're in radians, which is good. And I think I can. Uh, I want the axis to be radians. There you go. Good. Our cos 
very similar type of relationship and our tangent and we'll quickly look at tangent just like we talked about we're undefined or we have asymptotes at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 like we said is our zero um, we're at zero at this point. It just is a repeating pattern that occurs every 180 degrees. So really 180 degrees is a decent amount of information to get on at least tangent. And we know for a cos and sine it would be great if we can get up to about 360 degrees. Okay. Let's look at their reciprocals here. We have cosecant x. Okay. And let's look at the reciprocal in terms of sine. In terms of sine what's happening is that our peaks are essentially the troughs, the lowest part of cosecant. And wherever sine is crossing zero, we're undefined. Which kind of brings us back to here. Wherever sine crossed zero, we were undefined, which showed us in that very first relationship there, right? At secant x, very similar type of idea. Our peaks are the lowest points, so this is our common point between the two, uh, are the lowest points of secant, and secant is undefined again where cos was crossing at zero. Same idea, when cos was zero, secant was undefined, right? And in this case, that would have been 90 degrees here. So at 90 degrees, we have our asymptote. And finally, cotangent. The cotangent relationship is a little bit different. Okay. Cotangent relationship here, wherever tangent is zero, we have our asymptote, right? The only difference is it is looking almost like a negative sloped, um, negative sloped? yes, a negative sloped um, cubic function. has a, that type of look to it, where our tangent is kind of our positive sloped cubic function, right? So in relation to each other, whether it's cotangent secant or cosecant, essentially wherever our original zeros are, Okay. Our zeros always create asymptotes, right? So for sine or cosecant, we have an asymptote. Secant has asymptotes, and so does cotangent. Now this looks very messy, but that's the idea of the relationship between the three of them if we're going to go through the graphing.